Hello traders and Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here broadcasting from the digital studios of Market Club. We're going to be looking at 10 stocks for 2015. These are stocks that had big moves last year and I think are still going to have big moves, whether it's on the downside or the upside, that's to be determined. But the reality is we're starting with Apple, the Apple ORI. Here we have a company that is very, very profitable. We're looking at a weekly chart, a weekly candlestick chart, and we can see it's pulled back from its highs around the 120 level, 119.70 to be exact. And it's getting to an area now in the Fibonacci mode, which is right here. You can see the Fibonacci lines. We've already drawn those in. 50% pullback from the recent lows, which is back here. And that was on the 13th of October. And we can see we're pulling back to these recent lows. Now somewhere between the 50 and 61 percent area, it's going to be an area to watch very carefully. Now, when you couple the Fibonacci with the RSI, I'm just going to show you how to use tools together, with the RSI indicator on the weekly, you get a very good feel of support. Now, the 50 line on the RSI is where the market should find support, good support. So if you couple the 50 line with the Fibonacci line and just wait for some sort of turn up, then you've got a very good chance of having a successful trade with very little risk. So that's how we use these tools. The Fibonacci, which you find right here, and it'll show you a little yellow box on the left-hand corner when you're using that. And the RSI tool is a tool, it's a below chart study, you can just click here and you can see moving averages, so forth, MACD, which you don't see on the screen right now, but the relative strength index, RSI. And it's just a default setting of 14. Works very, very well. Let's move on. Now here's an interesting chart in my mind. It's eBay. It is a no-go situation. For the last two years, eBay has traded basically between 50 and 60, 58, let's say 50 to 58. So it hasn't had a big range. In fact, every time it gets down to the 50 level, it seems to be a buy, a 48 level it seems to be a buy. So it's had like a $10 range. I really don't have a strong feeling for this market. It's obviously I think more and more people are going to be putting stuff on eBay to sell. I've sold things on there myself. Uh, I sold one of my racing bikes on there. And it's a good platform if you need to uh, get rid of something or raise some money, whatever it might be the case. But generally speaking, this has been a very solid kind of performer in the sense that it hasn't gone down and it hasn't gone up either. So just watch that closely. We are above the 50 line. This is a weekly chart again, but we're seeing some, some candlestick charts that look a little bit disturbing. You can see you get these little tight doji candlesticks. It means sometimes there's a change in the weather, so to speak, a change in the trend. And uh, that's the fight between the bulls and the bears. I think there's good selling between 56 and 58, and there seems to be good support around 48. So not a lot going on with eBay. Now we're looking at a stock, a well-known stock, Amazon, and you can see really it is not doing very, very well. I would have thought this stock would have done a lot better, but the reality is you've got competition now with Alibaba, and that's going to take some of the gloss. Plus, they're not making any money. Investors are sort of getting a little bit tired of you know, waiting for the come, waiting for the profits to arrive, and they just haven't been there yet. Key thing to look at in this stock, in my opinion. You can see we were low as 50 in the stock and we've been as high as 400. So it's had a big move. Potentially, potentially we could take the same Fibonacci tool right here. There's the little yellow box. Go from the very top all the way down to this low here. And we could see the 220, 176. Is it possible to get down there? Yes, everything is possible in stocks. It's perception. That's the key thing. And perception continued to be negative for Amazon, and this is the Christmas period, they should be doing incredibly well. And I'm sure they're selling a lot of stuff, but they're not making any money, which kind of defies the imagination. So let's scope this in just a little bit closer. And these, right, these points right here, we're looking at 284 and 284. That's the key level. So 296 now. If we're another $13 low, get to 283, this will be under severe pressure, in my opinion. We are below the 50 line. This is on the important weekly charts, indicating further weakness. We've talked about mighty Google before. If you look at the, we'll take this out to the max. You can see it's taken out these lows here. Not a good sign. 
Uh, this is a weekly chart on Google. We've talked about this stock before. You can see if we close down here, this will be a new weekly close since you have to go all the way back to, gosh, October of 2013 to get a lower close. So it's not a particularly good sign. And again, this is kind of like a double bottom. If it goes below there, you could certainly see this stock go down, I think, to potentially the 400 to the 420 level without too much of a shock to everybody. Again, all of our trade triangles are negative, indicating a lower price. Yahoo is a little bit different picture. Uh, we have a, a monthly that's longer term positive, and the weekly is negative, indicating you should be on the sidelines, giving you a 60 reading. That's a trading range. You should just be on the sidelines. Really no strong feeling for the stock at the moment. This is Under Armour. This is a weekly chart on Under Armour. A couple of things you want to look at on this stock, in my opinion, and that is the potential of a double top. And that double top would be coming in. I'll show you exactly where that would be. We'd be looking at right here and right here. This is the key level, this 60 level. That's a pivot point. If we go below there, then you could go from the 70, whatever the highs were, 72, and subtract, let's say, $12 from this level. So that takes you down to, I would say, the 50 to 48 level, which takes you back down to this previous area of support. So I think that's in the cards, but also watch the RSI line to that 50 support area. Watch that very, very closely. Again, trading range, 60. Let's move on. Next stock we're looking at is Netflix, which is the streaming service. Uh, you can see that we are 100 or 90 percent reading negative so the trend is clearly down you can see it kicked in right here and it looks like it wants to go lower the key area is going to be this 300 level psychologically if it goes below there then that would not be a good sign the lowest close you've seen on a weekly basis recently is 322 with 327 so under a close under 320 let's say would not be a good sign the RSI is way below the 50 line indicating weakness so watch that carefully looks like it wants to go lower now Facebook is like a bright star here plus 85 strong uptrend the trend is your friend we're above the RSI 50 line and the trend clearly up you can see we've had a nice move up in this stock already this year. The monthly kicked in right pretty much close to the lows and has been in place for quite some time. Now Starbucks is an interesting case also. You had a really nice move to 84. We've had the breakdown but it's a trading range right now and I think the best way to be on this market is just wait until the new year till we get some further signs for this market. Twitter is a negative. Uh, they have yet to figure out how to monetize this kind of communication tool and you can see that's really reflective in the stock price. Minus 90 is a strong downtrend and I'd expect it to test the 30 line which is $30 line which is support and uh, we're currently trading at 35.62. Okay that's 10 stocks for 2015. They can all have great moves so watch them very carefully on your radar. I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. Thanks for stopping by and every success trading today.